Hey guys, it's Arcane Knight 94. Welcome back to 12 divided by 4 Days of Gaming, and we are playing Modern Warfare 2. This is game technically 3, so if you missed the first video, go back and watch it. We are playing on, don't know what this map is called, it's right up there. You can see it for yourself, but Sony Vegas is um, watching the preview, and then, you know, you know, it's just a lot of complications, so uh, don't worry about that. We're playing Team Deathmatch here on whatever this African looking map is, and uh, we're just going to have a good time, alright? Uh, follow my tips and you will become a pro star player. You will be able to play MLG, no problem. That is a lie. That is a lie. Don't get mad at me if you can't do that. So, I tried to be cool, hit this dude with a knife, that failed horribly, and I'm dead. I am, I believe, the first kill of the game. So, congrats to me on that one. That dude got absolutely murdered, so I finished him right there. You know, looking out for the team. Kill that guy in the corner. He thinks he's cool. He is not. He is actually not cool. Kill that guy right there. I am just on a roll. I am blazing. Then this guy thinks he's cool. He's gonna run down the middle. Obvious path. Somebody else mows him now because it's so obvious. And uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Three kills. I dropped down. Get a care package. Did not see that guy over there. Automatically died. That is cool though. Um, that guy was actually a Terminator. So me dying to him is basically just like me dying to like a superhuman. So it was completely not fair. I throw out the care package. Like I said in the earlier video. I only use care packages after I, you know, die because it it, it takes away momentum from your game. Uh, I get the Predator missile right as I die. Yeah, I could have knifed that guy if I was more, uh, I don't know, aware. But I wasn't. Killed that guy. He's probably c cursing all over the place. Sorry, I have like a cold, and I'm hiccuping, hiccup, blah blah blah, hiccuping at the same time. So it's it's really bad. It's really bad. I hope I get over this cold before, you know, Friday at least. So, uh, this guy thinks he's cool. I totally F up right there. I missed the night throw, and I missed my first initial shots. But he sucks so bad that I can uh, redeem myself and kill him. That guy, he was just absolute trash. This is cool. This is what I'm talking about when uh, I say play smart. What you want to do, what I do is I go back here uh, for the flank. Get the flank on that guy. Go over here. Look at the UAV, get the flank on that guy, and get the flank on that guy. So, I mean, I switched weapons accidentally, so I fired that off just in case somebody was there. Uh, I was actually pretty safe. So, that was, that is like my whole goal in gaming, is to get the flank. Uh, throughout time, when has flanking people not worked ever? Like, where if somebody said, alright, we're gonna flank these people. And, oh god, they're flanking it back. Like, no, that usually never happens. I mean, of course, there's going to be that one historian guy that's looking at his video. Well, <laughs> well Joseph, the the Swedish present revolt of 1348. I'm like, shut up. Nobody, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. They're Swedish. So, uh, I'm running through the back the back skirts of town here because, uh, you know, that's what you got to do. You got to run through the back skirts of town. Back skirts isn't really, I don't even think, a real vocabulary word for anything. So, I just made that up. Go ahead and put that in Urban Dictionary. Uh, pushing up through this place right here, usually people are funneling through here, so I thought I'd give it a try. The bad part about it is they will probably be facing me when I come down, so it's kind of dangerous. I think I did get a attack helicopter, and that's what's out right now. It actually does doo-doo. It hardly works until later into the, to the game, so have fun with that. I killed that guy, or did my copter hit kill that guy? I don't know. It feels like my copter is still in my kills. Like, really? Really, you want to do that, Copter? Like, when it's on its own, it can't do anything. But when it comes to me trying to get a kill, it steals it. I go for the prior, the sentry, barely get it, die, see? That's that's why I don't use care packages while I'm during a streak, so. There you go. My attack helicopter. Thank God it lasts for quite a while without anybody shooting it, because otherwise I'd be pretty upset. Got Merc there. I don't know, I'm just on a bad streak here. I mean... This game, FPS is, once you get a certain level of skill, uh, like, at my skill level, it's pretty much a game of luck, kind of. You have to think about where the enemy is going and hope they are thinking that <laughs> the opposite, basically. If I'm going one way, hoping to flank the enemy, and the enemy is going the opposite way, hoping to flank me, we'll meet, and, you know, then you don't really have an advantage. Whereas, most people don't do that. So, I'm thinking about flanking 24-7 in a game, or a regular deathmatch game at least. I'm thinking about flanking 24-7, and I think this is beast. I did that Tom Cruise Mission Impossible jump right there, dodged the airstrike, and I'm watching Mission Impossible 
I haven't seen any of them. Well, now I've seen one and two. I'm about to watch three just to be prepared for four because four looks so good. That D bag is obviously going to destroy my sentry. God, that would have been really good if I turned it around. But I didn't. Dodge that grenade like a bamf and boom! You don't want none. So, anyway, like I was saying, if I'm thinking about flanking 24 7, that gives me an advantage because I'm thinking about flanking everybody. I'm thinking about surprising somebody. They're usually not thinking about surprising somebody. They're thinking about just, all right, I'm going to use, like, the thing about it is people get so caught up in MLG stuff that I merc him like that. He was probably like, all right, go to Blue Room, and I'm about to be blah, 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 and the game's over. So I bet you guys didn't even understand what just happened. That's why there's a replay for you. You're going to see it right now. I beasted through his Claymore. Claymore didn't even scare me. I just walked through that like a juggernaut, and I killed him. This has been the second game or third game of 12 divided by 4 days of Christmas or something. Stay valiant, guys. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.